Hello! Hi! We're so glad you're with us today. Stand up and sing. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. Lord. There's nothing in the way of Jesus every day. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. week of going back in time and seeing that the things Jesus taught are always trending mm-hmm. because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Sometimes people show care with kind, encouraging words, but we can show God's love in even bigger ways when we follow it up with our actions. Let's see how Jesus taught this lesson in a parable. It's Kelly! Hey! What we gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh-huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo. Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Kelly's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Kelly's world. Chip 
and I are just so funny. <laughs> we do look funny. My mom is cleaning out the attic and she found some of my grandma and grandpa's old clothing. They actually wore this in real life? Not like a costume or anything? They actually did. They said it was cool. That wasn't the word they used, though. Oh, yeah. It was groovy. Yeah. What does it mean for someone to be groovy? Do you know, friends? Hmm. I guess it means they were cool. I really don't understand these glasses. I mean, they're so big and dark. I can't see much at all, can you? No! Maybe they didn't need to see back then? Yeah, maybe not. I would not be able to collect a single acorn using these. Me neither. Well, I don't collect acorns, but you know what I mean. What else is in that box your mom found? I don't know. Let's check it out. There are so many clothes in there. I wonder what they're going to do with them. There's something written on the box. What does it say? Oh, yeah. It says, give away. I guess they wanted to give this stuff away. But it's just been sitting here in the attic. Your mom is a pretty busy lady. Yeah. Wow. This is a lot of clothes. We could give the best of this stuff to the community center down the street. They help a lot of people. They'd love these clothes. Groovy clothes. I don't want to give them these glasses, though. I'm starting to like them. Me too! They grow on you, don't they? I still can't see much. Me neither. We're going to pack this box up to give away while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 16. Jesus told a story to teach people how important it is to show love to others. In this story, there was a rich man who wore very nice clothing. His life was very easy. There was also a poor man named Lazarus who hung out at the gate in front of the rich man's house. Lazarus had sores on his skin. He begged for food. He would have been happy eating the small bits of food that fell from the rich man's table. But the rich man did not show any love for Lazarus. He did not take action to help Lazarus. Then in Jesus' story, both Lazarus and the rich man died. After dying, Lazarus got to hang out with God's friend Abraham in heaven. But the rich man was not in heaven. He was somewhere where he felt a lot of pain all the time. In Jesus' story, the rich man looked up and saw Lazarus with Abraham. He called out to Abraham, Good Lazarus, just, just give me a few drops of water to cool my tongue. I'm in a fire and it really hurts. Abraham told the rich man to think about what happened when he was alive. Lazarus had nothing while the rich man had many good things, but he did not care for Lazarus at all. Jesus wanted to teach people that love and action, they go together. You need to show others love with what you do. The rich man could have shown love to Lazarus by doing something like giving him food or water. We can show love to others by taking action too. Jesus wants us to know that love is not just words. Love always needs action. Wowzers! I'm sure glad we came across this box. Me too. It was marked to give away. But those were just words like in the story. The rich guy in the story really missed out by not showing love with his actions. We actually have to do it. You ready? I'm ready. before you left. I hope they like it. Me too. It feels really good to show love with our actions. It does. It makes me want to do more stuff for others. Are you hungry, Chip? Let me get you a snack. No, I'll get you a snack. No, please. You chill here. I'll bring you a snack. Please, you can chill and I get the snack for you. Okay. Really? After I get you one. Oh, golly. Maybe the two of us should just go 
and do some other loving things for other people. Sounds good. Let me just get you a snack first. Fine. Love always needs action. Thanks for learning and growing with us. See you next time. It's hard not to feel sorry for the rich man, but he was sorry too late. He had plenty of opportunities while he was still living to love others, but he blew it by only caring about himself and looking down on people like Lazarus. Jesus taught everyone to love, not just with words, but with solid actions. He showed us with how he lived his own life, and it's a good trend for us to follow true too. Let's pray. God, help our actions to show um, love to others. Sometimes it's easy to be grumbly and complaining and ugly to people who um, are not necessarily kind to us or that we don't um, particularly like. But your word tells us that you love others and you want us to love others too. Help us to uh, go about doing that this week. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Ready to launch into a new series? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong said these words as he took his first steps on the moon. And in May, we will talk about how believing in Jesus is the first step, the very beginning of our life with God. We look forward to sharing Jesus with you. Bye. See you later.